Welcome to this week's Hymn of the Week. This week we have ELW 335, Jesus Keep Me Near the Cross, by the well-known gospel hymn writer Fanny J. Crosby. We only have two of her hymns in the ELW, this one and, of course, Blessed Assurance, Jesus is Mine, which many of you may know. Now, Fanny J. Crosby has written, I think over, or wrote, over 8,500 texts for hymns. I mean, that's just unbelievable to just digest that when you think a regular hymnal has maybe about 500 to 600 songs, maybe a little less than that, maybe a little more than that. So we're talking about someone that really had a good practice in writing them. Now, Fanny J. Crosby was born in 1820, definitely has some history to the early uh, Massachusetts area and the uh, colonies way back at the beginning of the, before the U.S. Uh, was founded. And she uh, was within six weeks, unfortunately, she became blind. So we don't even know if she really saw a cross in six weeks of having sight. Maybe she doesn't even remember. Hopefully, though, she had some memory that carried through to her writing, which I believe in many ways is possible. Because at eight, she started writing at eight years old. And then at 24, she started writing hymns. At 44, she then began to do it more as a career, if there is a such thing. Uh, she did compose over 8,500 texts, uh, so uh, did it more as a career. And then in 1867, well, I, actually in late 70s, 18, late 1870, that's when she joined the church. So that's another, which was a Methodist church. So what's interesting there is she was, had this faith the entire time before she then linked herself with a community that was worshiping God as well. So there's a power in these texts that we might not always see. Uh, they might not have always been congregationally minded. Sometimes they may have been. So that's something to think about uh, as we're singing it. Now, Fanny J. Crosby also attended the New York School for the Blind. She found her husband there as well, and he was also blind. So one of the things about her writing is it was for, it needed to be idiomatic and simple. So it has that way of connecting. And as you can see in this text, it's very obvious in the cross, in the cross be my glory ever till my ransom soul shall find rest beyond the river. So it's, it's repetitive, but it's also easy uh, to remember. And the, uh, the other interesting thing about Fanny J. Crosby is she worked with William H. Doan and he was one of, so she actually used this music for this tune, or for this text I mean. So she sometimes picked the tune with the text. This time she did, it wasn't her tune. So it's neat to see that she was matching the words with the tune and it wasn't like the two were separate. So that's probably why it works so well. Uh, between this, uh, the text and the melody. She also, because she was blind, had so, I think, she had a great memory, which many uh, people that are blind do have. I know this from studying some of the organists. And she could recite Bible verses. So often she was writing like seven texts a day. I mean, it's hard to believe reciting it and then having this uh, come into a fruition like this text here. So, we're singing this on Palm Sunday as our last hymn, and I think it's important here to read something about the power of the cross, and it's from a researcher, I'm going to read it to you, from Blumhofer, Edith Blumhofer, says that for Crosby, the cross held a special appeal as a place for centering proximity to Christ. Since something good happened to one near there, what better place to linger? Linger. So... I think that's how I plan to interpret this. I'm going to let this rise in the end, be a, an amazing, hopefully, big finish chorus. And I'm going to throw in just a little curveball this time. At the end, way at the end, I'm just going to quote a really brief quote of Were You There, the very famous song that's usually sung on Good Friday, Were You There When They Crucify My Lord the Spiritual, just to get us prepared for Holy Week. So this is Jesus, keep me near the cross. And I will plan to keep it fairly simple. Okay.
Thank you very much for listening to Hymn of the Week. It reminds me as I was singing and playing this tune that to some, the message of the cross is foolishness. And to others, well, that might be something to check in the epistles. Thank you very much.